These photos and video, which were widely circulated on social media, show the convoy of the Chief Justice, Deputy Chief Justice, and the Principal Judge leaving State House in Tebe recently. This led to some members of public to question whether these visits were not influencing the preparations for hearing the presidential petition that was filed by Robert Chagulani. Judiciary spokesperson Jameson Karamani has come out to clarify that these were official working visits and were in no way related to the presidential election petition, as has been claimed. It was at a function of the swearing-in of a new judge, Honorable Justice Margaret Apini, which took place on the 10th of February. The second time the Chief Justice was at State House was during the Jonan Room celebration day which was on the 16th. Karimani says the misinformation floating around is only intended to undermine the integrity of the judiciary. It is intended to derail, to derail people to think that uh, there was a, a discussion which was secret about especially the, the, the ongoing petition. On the other hand, NRM's lawyers have expressed dismay with the way the petitioner Chagulanyi has behaved towards the judiciary, especially the Chief Justice Owini Dolo and his relationship with one of the respondents, NRM Siobhari Seveni. So I stand here on behalf of my colleagues here as an officer of the court and therefore a member of that institution, cautioning the likes of Chagulanyi that please respect that institution to which you run to for justice. If you go with clean hands, your complaints will be heard and determined as has been done before. The only incidents of unprofessionalism in conducting the petition have been on the part of the petitioner. Chief Justice Alfonso Winidolo himself also personally responded to these claims on Friday. We are here because you believe in the rule of law, which is a commendable thing. We are here because you believe left to do their work. This court can do something, leave the courts of law to sit down and render justice as is their mandate to do. The Supreme Court will start hearing the presidential petition on 24th February. Joyce Nakato, NTV Weekend Edition.